Hello everybody, time to show you my Christmas presents that I got that are at least soccer related the ones I got some wonderful other ones but show you the soccer related ones and before I show you the jerseys I want to show you this is the book for the World Cup uh, that we had this year uh, it's the Kicker German biggest German soccer magazine not sure if it's the biggest but it's the most prestigious and I have every book since 1990 from them so this is for every World Cup and for every Euro tournament so the collection is growing uh, definitely need to have it it's a very those are very nice books um, not necessarily always so much of uh, what they're writing but uh, they're great pictures in there I mean here you see the noodle haircut for instance I'm just opening up random numbers for the German games they usually have full stats as well and a little bit more extended same goes for Swiss games in Germany as well then you have just here for every team in every group full squad lists so that is also in there uh, I actually always enjoy these books if you see here let's go to the core uh, round of 16 every stage is like marked with these really nice shots a uh, little summary and then there's basically double page for every game that makes for a really great read absolutely love this one and then here you know see here's the swiss page since it's for all german speaking countries that were part so here's kind of switzerland was eliminated let's have someone write how bad they actually were and the funny thing is that the swiss <laughs> Uh, page for once is after the German page, which rarely ever happens. I actually now want to that I that they were talking about. I want to see whether there is something. Yes, of course. Here's the German page. Uh, I actually do not like this guy. I've seen him in a few discussions. He's a little bit. I always have the feeling he's a little bit too full of himself. A typical Munich guy, I would say. But yeah, he's the chief reporter of Kika and then there's a lengthy with all the qualification results uh, from all over the world so it's a really 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 nice summary of um, the whole World Cup tournament and I just like this I mean there are more books but this is the one that I go to because a I have them already and B it looks bad in the bookshelf if have always the same thing. I used to buy two, but I think that stopped in 98 when uh, the guy that I actually liked uh, stopped uh, writing books because he retired. Um, last feature is that, you know, after every round, here's after the final, there's an additional commentary with, you know, the top 11 of the round when after the final, you can see there's not too much difference. To, uh, but yeah, this is actually the 11 of the tournament, so I'll let you read that here. A really nice book, especially, I, I, I said, I like it mainly for the pictures. I'm reading this currently. Uh, it's usually a fun read. I have it done in one or two days. I mean, it, uh, it takes me longer now because I have more responsibilities. Always love those and I might go back to those books once I do maybe. I want to do some History of the World Cup um, videos and I might go back to these books that I have. Jerseys. I got one NHL jersey that I knew for sure that I will get. And you've already seen it if you've watched my last videos. It's this wonderful Chicago Blacks, Blackhawks away jersey. I absolutely adore this logo. It is so rich and detailed. I mean, it's not, you know, this is not the uh, player version, so it's not uh, super, super detailed, but it really is very nicely done. Absolutely love it. That's why I love hockey jerseys, because you have the huge, um, you have the huge logo on the front. Uh, the striping is very nice. I find the black edge a little bit weird. And then, of course, you have the famous C logo here with the cross tomahawks. And, of course, it's Jonathan Taves. Uh, the captain of the Chicago Blackhawks who lifted the Stanley Cup three times. I always want to get either I get them empty, but if I get them with customization, I always want to have the captaincy marker here. And I'm actually thinking of maybe getting the 
one of the Stanley Cup markers here to add on, but you know, this is all working progress. I have it from a Pittsburgh jersey that you have seen many times. Here I have a Stanley Cup winner. Yeah, there I should get the A because Malkin that I have here is actually uh, the assistant captain. That I got last year Christmas. This year Christmas. This nice jersey uh, goes right up there with my favorite NHL jerseys that I have. Really love this one. Have been wearing it basically ever since I got it Christmas Day. Now, soccer jerseys. Two now. Two are coming, but they are then more a New Year's present. We celebrate Christmas actually thrice on the 24th. Uh, it's mainly because to have the kids not get everything at once. Uh, on the 24th is the traditional day for Austria to celebrate in the evening, Christmas Eve. 25th in the morning, we usually do a little bit. Um, and then um, we also celebrate New Year's. So have it all stretched out. So soccer jerseys. Newcastle, 2001 to 2003, and I'm actually quite happy about this. this is not one of, if you saw my top 10, it's not necessarily on my uh, wish list there, but I always wanted to have that one too, because that's the jersey I watched them in at Stamford Bridge, and um, the reason why I was always a little bit skeptical about that one is that I thought that the striping is a little bit too wide, and of course the NTL sponsor is not the classic sponsor, although I think it gives it more color maybe than it needs to, but I it doesn't bother me because it's black and white, so the color doesn't uh, pops um, maybe a little bit more. But I always thought that the, st the uh, stripes are too wide, and when you look at some sketches like on historical football kits and so on, you feel that this is getting too wide, and it looks actually weird, but in honesty, this is a super smart solution to a problem. You have the Adidas template here with this uh, curve that also I have here on the Tottenham shirt. From I think this is just a season earlier, you have also this curve here. So they replicate this here, but where do you go? You have them do the shoulder yoke in black. What do you do? You also have the side webbing. So there's some ventilation which is in white, so just let the strap continue onto the sleeve. I think it's a super smart solution to that. I love the Newcastle logo. Just looking at it with the seahorses, really nicely done. And then if you look at how the, I find the transition from black to white is very weird. Uh, but I've seen this on other jerseys before. The color is really nicely done, just black and white. And of course the back is also just Black and white repeats the pattern from the front, except it doesn't really have this shoulder yoke like in the new uh, Nike shirts where the shoulder yoke goes like this, uh, which is kind of a little bit intended here. It doesn't do that on the back, but I think uh, I don't mind that at all. Of course, you have the Adidas. I wish I had the Premier League patches, but I also don't have them on Tottenham. I only have them on Arsenal and Chelsea. Uh, Really nice jersey, very happy. This is my first black and white jersey, that's not a Lusk jersey. Um, I always thought it will be Juventus or Pauk. Now it's the fourth team that I actually kind of wanna, wanted to have. It's Newcastle, very happy about that one. So uh, in addition to my Premier League coll uh, collection, so if I make Premier League videos, there are not only London teams hanging there now. And then the last one, and that's the one I'm most fond of. Ta-da! Number three from my video, from my list, top ten list of the club shirts that I want. Barcelona 2010-11, the one that they won the Champions League final in Wembley against Manchester United 3-1. I saw it a few few weeks ago, even with customization, full customization for that final. Um, it was just an impossible rise, 150. Um, we found it for 20. And I said, we got to get this, me and my wife, and my wife uh, got it for me. Um, very interesting shirt. I actually want to make a special video for that, um, as well, like for the Newcastle one too. But the most interesting thing is they have the flag here, like they have now on all Nike kits. This is kind of a precursor of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's I wanted to have a Barcelona jersey with UNICEF, and now my collection feels right. I have more Barcelona shirts than... Um, Real Madrid shirts, what I'm missing now is Barcelona away shirts. 
2008-2009, maybe the pink one, because my girls want me to have a pink one, but yeah, absolutely love that one, really, really nice present, I'm so happy to have this one, um, you're gonna see me wear this one a lot. Well, hope you liked my Christmas presents, let me know what you got for Christmas, uh, if you got any, any, any jerseys or any soccer related stuff, I would love to know that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel right here if you want to see more of these and then check out the playlist here too. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.